Hi, I'm Mark Sip from Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss an exceptional example of Shenandoah Valley pottery that we'll be selling in our November 2nd auction. You can see it's a large dish, um, fantastically slip decorated, cream and brown. It has this great daisy plant extending up the front. And this band with uh, manganese slip line highlight. But perhaps most interesting about it is is the great <coughs> excuse me the great uh, inscription and decoration around the shoulder, which you can see here it has the initials J E and the date 1808, and the words his dish. And interspersed in this inscription is this great slip trail, uh, great cluster design. These cream colored circles with dots in the center. And variants of this design you can find on redware and even stoneware from the 18th and early 19th centuries. Um, some people call it a, a seed pod or fish scale, things like that a really wonderfully decorated piece. And this design in particular, this grape cluster design in the Shenandoah Valley context uh, is most often attributed to Peter Bell from Hagerstown and Winchester. And of course Peter Bell is arguably considered the father of Shenandoah Valley pottery. Um, he's at the very least the father of three very skilled and, and uh, highly regarded potters, John, Samuel, and Solomon Bell. Um, of Waynesboro, Strasburg, and Winchester. Um, but it's a wonderful piece and one of the interesting things about this piece is it actually has some great documentation in the Shenandoah Pottery, the book uh, from 1929 by Alvin Rice and John Stout. You can see it's actually pictured in here. So it's very interesting to have a piece uh, that's actually documented in a book that's an antique of itself. And this was collected by Rice and Stout and pictured in their book and cataloged uh, number 1968, described in the catalog at the back of the book as a pie plate, brown glaze, white, yellow, and black slip decoration, daisy floral design in the center, and inscribed on rim. J.E. 1808, his dish, made by Peter Bell in Hagerstown. Um, so it has a great provenance, a great history. This actually uh, sold at Park Burnett Galleries many, many decades ago and uh, was in the Shelley Collection and it sold as a part of the prominent Shelley Collection at auction in 2007. Um, so it has the, the great attribution of, of Peter Bell that collectors really seek, but not only that, the size is great and the decoration is great, the inscription is exceedingly rare, um, and we're uh, happy to offer it on November 2nd.